Have you ever found yourself doing something a certain way for many years and it works perfectly for you? Then out of the blue, someone observes what you're doing and insists that you're doing it wrong and there's a much better way. Naturally, you react with a mix of disbelief and irritation. How dare they? I never asked for your opinion. I don't care about your opinion. This is my life and I've been doing this for years without any issues. Who do you think you are offering me your unsolicited advice? And that's our reaction to someone that we do know. Imagine how much more intense it is when a random stranger tells us the same thing. As the saying goes, advice unsolicited is advice unwanted. Now, let's get to the story in this week's Parsha, Vayetze. Yaakov Ovinu, Jacob, is on his way to Choron to find a wife. He arrives there and sees a group of shepherds by the well, sitting around and waiting, with three flocks lying beside waiting to drink. He then seems to mix into their business and questions the way they're doing things. He doesn't know them from anywhere. He's never met them before. None of them have ever met him before. The Parsha says, Genesis chapter 29, verse 4, Jacob asked them, My brothers, where are you from? And they replied, We're from Haran. He asked them, Do you know Lavan, the grandson of Nachar? And they replied, We know him. He asked them, Is he well? And they replied, He is well. And here is his daughter Rachel approaching with the flocks. He said to them, It's still broad daylight. It's still not yet time to round up the livestock and take them home. If they need to drink, water the flocks, and go off and pasture them. Now, if this happened to me or you, we would probably respond by saying something sharp and nasty. We would probably get angry at such chutzpah. But these shepherds seem to respect the question and dignify it with a calm and mature response. They replied, we cannot water the flocks until all the flocks are rounded up and all the shepherds can roll the boulder off the opening of the well together. Only then can we water the animals. And the obvious question is, the shepherds never met this guy Jacob before. He's here for a few seconds and already mixing into their business. Why didn't they scream at him? Who do you think you are? Why didn't they curse him out? Why didn't they chase him away? This week I heard a beautiful answer. If you want to know why the shepherds didn't get irritated by Jacob's questioning them, just look at the first word he says to them. Achai, my brothers. Although they never met Jacob before, he exuded love. His loving energy and vibrations were expressed in this word, Achai, my brothers. Words that come from the heart enter the heart. When he said, Achai, my brothers, he meant it, and therefore they felt it. With such an introduction... They remain calm, open to hearing constructive criticism and embracing it. There's a very valuable lesson here for our everyday life, both when we offer and are recipients of feedback and advice. Make sure it's done from a place of love and it will be effective. The litmus test is the first word you say and how you say it. If it's from Achai, brotherly love, then it's great and it will have a positive impact. If it's anything else, don't say it. If it's anything else, it will make things worse. Achai, my brothers and sisters, I wish you a good Shabbos.